Thank you. The title of my talk is a Genome-Wide Association Study, or GWAS, of patients with postpartum hemorrhage identifies genetic loci related to immunity and cell interactions. Did you know that the last time a new drug was introduced to treat postpartum hemorrhage in the United States was 1979? 40 years ago, FDA approved carboprost. Today, I'm going to talk about how some new insights from my research in genetics can help with this devastating condition. Postpartum hemorrhage, or PPH, is defined as a blood loss more than 1,000 milliliters after delivery and affects 2-3% to of all pregnancies. Postpartum hemorrhage is the single leading cause of maternal mortality and morbidity worldwide. While a number of clinical risk factors for hemorrhage have been identified, for example, preeclampsia, multiple gestations, chorionionitis, the molecular mechanisms of postpartum hemorrhage are not well understood. Epidemiologic studies have shown that 41% of postpartum hemorrhage risk is familial, with 18% attributable to maternal genetic factors. However, the associated genes and biological pathways have not yet been identified. Studying genetics can help identify important mechanisms of disease. Using the traditional medicine approach, one drug is prescribed to all patients. With the help of genetics, we can study individual differences in the genes associated with disease and design specific drugs to target that particular group of individuals. A common approach to study genetic determinants of disease is GWAS, or Genome-Wide Association Study. The method relies on small differences in the sequence of DNA called single nucleotide polymorphisms, or SNPs. For example, on the figure here, the individual on the top has the base pair CG, while the individual on the bottom has the base pair TA in the same position on the chromosome. We use complex computational methods to compare millions of SNPs in the genome in people with the disease and controls. We obtained our study participants from the UK Biobank, a large population-based prospective cohort of over 450,000 participants. It was designed to investigate the respective contributions of genetic predisposition and environmental exposure to the development of disease. We used ICD-9-10 codes and identified 1,400 postpartum hemorrhage cases and 4,200 match controls of European ethnicity with at least one live birth and no postpartum hemorrhage. Each of those individuals had SNPs assessed genome-wide, and this allowed us to study which of those are associated with postpartum hemorrhage. For the actual GWAS, we performed quality control at the sample and SNP level. We also adjusted for differences based on the genotyping array and cohort. This is a plot of our results called Manhattan plot due to the resemblance with the skyline of Manhattan. Each chromosome is represented on the x-axis and every SNP is a dot. The association p-value of each SNP is expressed on the vertical axis with the most significant SNPs at the top. Due to the million of, of comparison tests that are done, the threshold of significance is 5 times 10 to the minus 8 and is represented with horizontal line. You can see three SNPs above the significance line in blue and two ones in yellow, which are close to statistical significance. These charts represent our summary results. The significant SNPs are in blue and I would start at the top. The top SNP to the right of the, um, is near the ALGA gene that modulates cell-cell and cell matrix interaction and the immune response. The other significant loci were near SHIST15 gene, which encodes an enzyme participating in the metabolism of chondritin sulfate, and M2P, which encodes a protein inhibiting cell migration. Two additional loci of suggestive significance in yellow were near genes that regulate cell migration and response to interferon. Our results are in line with the growing evidence of the role of the immune system in placentation and maintenance of normal pregnancy. In our next step, we will replicate our results in samples from other biobanks. We have established collaboration with Michigan Genomics Initiative, BioView from Vanderbilt, Geisinger, and the Nordic Biobanks. Together, these cohorts have several thousand PPH cases and control. In sum, we report the first maternal postpartum hemorrhage GWAS, identifying several potential novel genetic loci associated with postpartum hemorrhage risk. Our next studies will focus on replicating these findings in larger cohorts and functionally characterizing biological pathways which may be involved in the pathogenesis of postpartum hemorrhage. We hope that this work will spark new ideas about targets for predicting and treating postpartum hemorrhage.
Thank you to all my mentors and everyone who helped me with this project. Also, thank you to FAIR for supporting this project. Thank you all.